Hi, Nick from Inflow Communications here. Shortel has a lot of great features when it comes to voicemail and the email integration of it. And I'm going to be walking you through a few of those right now. First, we're going to cover how to set up email notifications when you receive a voicemail. So you will need to log into Director. And then in Director, go ahead and click on Users, Individual Users. And then find the user you'd like to set up. And then you can scroll down just a little bit down the page there and you'll see escalation profiles and other mailbox options. Go ahead and click on that. At the top you'll have the email address pre-populated from when you built our user. We'll make sure that's all in there correctly. And then you'll have deliver messages email. By default it's disabled. And you have two options, email text only or attach a WAV file. If you choose email text only, the user will get uh, an email that tells them the phone number that called and the time that they left the message. And if you choose attach a WAV file, it will actually send an audio clip of the voicemail message along with the email. You can also choose on the right to mark the messages heard in their mailbox if it's been sent to them. And then down below you have an option to send an email when their voicemail box is full. So in this case, I'm going to send myself a WAV file. That way I can listen to my voicemail from my phone when I'm on the road, or from my cell phone. And I'll save that. And now, whenever I get a voicemail on my Shortel phone, I will also be emailed a copy of that as a WAV file. And that covers how to set the email notifications for voicemail from the administrative side. From the client side, we'll take a look at Communicator and how to set that as a user. So from your computer, if you launch the Shortel Communicator client, and then click on the Shortel application button in the top left, and click on Options, and Voicemail on the left-hand side, You'll see, similar to what was in Director, you'll see Notification Delivery Options. Currently it's set to Disabled. And then I can choose Email Notification and turn that on. It lets me set the email address I want to deliver it to from here. And I can also mark the voicemail as heard. I'll apply those changes. And now if somebody leaves me a voicemail on my desk phone, it will email me the WAV file. And I can play that back from my email client. And that covers email notifications for the voicemail system. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us.